G'day everybody out there, here's a learn some drums lesson for Happier by Marshmello featuring Bastille. First few bits in this song are pretty easy, so let me get through them as quickly as possible and then we'll get to the slightly harder stuff. First up we've just got some clicks and I'm just going to hit the rim of the snare drum because I think that sounds kind of similar, it goes like this. Piece of cake, and then to that we're going to add 16th note hi-hats over the top. For this song I like the idea of playing both hands up on the hi-hats, it just keeps the sound a little bit more even and it makes it a little bit easier to play at this tempo. Let me play through this next bit, we've still got the finger clicks, but we're adding the hi-hats. The next bit is super straightforward again, we've got hand claps on beat 2 and beat 4. I'm going to play them on the snare drum and we need 4 bars, so it'll sound like this. Then we're going to add hi-hats over the top, just like this. And then to round out this pre-chorus section, we're adding kicks, four on the floor, and then we have a fill right at the end. Those kick drums in the last bar of the pre-chorus are very tricky to play because they are quite fast, so it might be a bit easier to just throw them onto the floor tom instead and you'd end up with something like this. Now we're up to our chorus. This is where the riff comes in and our snare drum and the hi-hat combinations are going to get a little bit busier. There is nothing tricky with the sticking, it's all right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, alternating, but we are going to move the right hand over to the snare drum and then the left hand over for a few ghost notes. So let me take the first couple of bars a little bit slowly so you get what I mean. The next two bars of the chorus are very similar with another fill at the end. The way the snare hits work most of the time with this 16th note hi-hat pattern is the first snare will be with your right hand the next two snares are going to be with your left hand, and then the next one is with your right hand again. All up, this first chorus is eight bars long, so let me play through those eight bars for you now. For verse 2 there's not quite as much happening on the kicks and snare, but we're going to keep the 16th notes going on the hi-hats, so let me play through the first 4 bars of verse 2 now.
And here's the second four bars of verse two. After verse 2, we go back into the pre-chorus and back into the chorus, just the same as we played the first time through. The only difference is that we have a stop on beat 4 at the end of the chorus, so I'll play that for you now. There's no drums for a little while, the song is focused mostly on the lyrics, but when we do come back in, we're playing the pre-chorus with just the hand claps on beat 2 and beat 4, but we're going to keep that going for 12 bars instead of just the usual 4. I won't play all 12 bars because I'm sure you get the idea. At the end of that, once again, we add the 16th note hi-hats over the top. And then we add the kicks to that once more and we're going to play the same fill that we have every time we've hit the end of the pre-chorus. The end of that pre-chorus takes us back into the chorus once again, exactly the same as we've already played it. The only difference is the very end, so I'll show you that now. Those tom hits are the end of the song for the drums and so that's the end of the lesson. I hope this has been helpful and given you a few ideas on how you might play Happier by Marshmallow. I hope you have fun with it, happy practicing, and I'll see you at the next lesson.